it's a beautiful cool January morning I'm back here behind Body Island Lighthouse looking at some of the birds I didn't see any ducks yet but I saw a lot of herring so I've seen quite a few herring but I've got a phone call here in a little while we're talking about these little creatures called organisms called sea squirts or ascidians and these little creatures they uh they're little marine organisms and they attach themselves like kind of like a barnacle to a surface in the water there's like three thousand some species of these things and some of them they actually eat in some parts of the world they actually eat these things but uh but uh anyhow they've possibly got some some uh some potential for a health um uh benefits and we've got we've got them in north carolina and a lot of them grow on these oyster farmers equipment that they use for farming oysters but anyhow one of the things about sea squirts there's other organisms like this too barnacles are like this is that when they're when they're just born a little <laughs> micro almost a microscopic I don't, they're not really they're very small um they actually swim a little bit and they swim around so they have a nervous system and then uh when they attach themselves to something they that's where they mostly are permanently situated for the rest of their existence and they lose their nervous system in other words if they had a brain that would be part of the nervous system they would lose their brain barnacles do the same thing barnacles have a nervous system until they attach themselves then they lose their nervous system they lose their brain even though it's not much of a brain um, it's very interesting because almost all uh or as far as as far as it's been i've, I've ever read and learned is that plants and organisms that are not mobile have do not have nervous systems which is very interesting because humans something kind of happens with with animals as well that do have brains and that is, is as we go through different ages maturities in life our brain actually prunes away neurons that it doesn't need to save energy because the nervous system is energy intensive and so there's a lesson in that and there's a lot of interesting things in that but one of the things is that when you're young and you're developing your brain is most plastic and it's most open to ideas and so it's important that you learn to learn that you learn to try to find you know you have a compass like a a, a moral compass a spiritual compass and when you're young especially it's very powerful do not let people change your compass because as you establish your who you are and you use that compass that's inside of you to point you in the right direction you will also in turn put in place the types of discipline and the and the uh, proper positive ways of thinking um, that will lead you through life so you just remember you have a as we get older we have to work a lot harder to change ourselves and so uh, it doesn't mean you're going to get everything right it just means that you don't have to feel as though if you're certain about something or if it's where your heart's leading you that you have to let think that other people know better than your heart doesn't mean that you don't want to learn to take advice from people or whatnot but if they're playing with you emotionally if they're trying to just impress upon you their viewpoints just for the sake of impressing upon you their viewpoints you need to develop within you a strength that allows you to discern from what is good and valuable information and knowledge and and what is just people trying to to uh 
make you behave in a way that they want you to behave for their own benefit. So, <laughs> yeah, we're not going to lose our brains like sea squirts, but we do. Our brains do become, try to become, they try to become more efficient as we get older. And so once we get into a pattern of how we do things, it takes more energy to change that. <laughs> so you have a very, you have a very uh, special time in your life when you're growing up to shape and form who you are. And your environment, your surroundings do a lot of that. But you get to a certain point where, where you can reflect and you can, you know, also set your own path. It's very important that you allow yourself to do that though. You know, you, uh, you have the ability to do, to do that. You don't have to just be a hundred percent on somebody else's path. Yeah. I love you.